ways, you need to know something about the organs inside a woman's body, the organs that produce children. This is the vagina, where the man's sperm is deposited during the sex act. Connected to it is the womb, or uterus. Leading from the uterus are two tubes. And near the end of each tube is an ovary. Each month, in one of the ovaries, an egg ripens. It moves down the tube towards the uterus. If it is not fertilized by the man's sperm within the first day or so, it dies and disappears. However, when a man and woman have sex relations, millions of sperm are left in the vagina. Within minutes, they are on their way up to the tubes. If it is the time of the month when an egg is starting down the tube, one of the sperm will fertilize it. During the next few days, the fertilized egg moves down into the uterus. It plants itself in the spongy wall of the uterus and begins to develop into a baby. There are several ways of avoiding pregnancy. Some that work better for one person, some better for another. One way is to make sure that there are no sperm in the tubes by not having sex relations around those days when an egg ripens. To use this rhythm method, each woman must keep a calendar of her own monthly periods. Between one monthly period and the next, there are at least eight days when a woman might get pregnant. To find out which days these are, to figure out your own particular rhythm, is the hard part, especially if your monthly periods are irregular. For the woman who is very irregular, there may not be many safe days left in the month. If you want to use the rhythm method, your doctor or your clinic will help you to work out your safe days. Another way to avoid getting pregnant is to put something between the sperm and the egg to keep them apart. One way of doing this is for the man to wear a sheath or French letter, or the woman may use a cap. If people are going to rely on a sheath, the man has to be responsible for using it every time. The same is true for a woman if she is going to use a cap. Both the sheath and the cap must be used with a special contraceptive jelly which kills the sperm. If you use a cap, a doctor needs to measure you to fit you with the right size. He will also need to show you how to put it in correctly, so that it covers the opening to the uterus. There are other contraceptives, creams, jellies, suppositories and foams, that will help kill the sperm. They are put into the vagina before having sex relations. For many years, these were the best methods, and millions of people have used them to keep the sperm from reaching the egg but a method may not work every time for every woman. Sometimes people use them wrongly. Sometimes the method is at fault. There are two newer methods now that are much more sure. One is the pill. These pills contain a natural substance that keeps the eggs in the ovary from getting ripe and being released. But the eggs are still very much alive. 
Whenever the couple decides it is time to have another baby, the woman simply stops taking the pill and soon the next egg ripens and is released so that it can be fertilized. This is the way many doctors will tell you to use them. Let's say your monthly period begins on this day, day one. On day five, you start taking the pills, one each day until the packet is empty, then stop. Wait seven days, and then start taking the pills from your next packet. During the seven days you are not taking pills, your period will come. You will find that each course of pills begins on the same weekday. When you get into the habit of taking a pill regularly, you can be almost 100% sure you won't become pregnant. In many countries, more women use the pill than any other method. But for many people, the IUD is the best. It's certainly the least expensive and the least trouble. There are various shapes of IUD, the intrauterine device. Intrauterine means in the uterus. The doctor puts it in the uterus like this. There is no pain and the woman hardly knows it's going in. The plastic springs back into shape, holding it in place. For some women, the IUD won't work because the uterus pushes it out, but not for many. Some women have discomfort or cramps for the first few hours or days. However, once the body gets used to the IUD, few people have any trouble. It can be left in for years. Doctors aren't sure yet how the IUD works. It may somehow keep the egg from being fertilized. Or it may speed up the passage and keep the egg from sticking to the wall of the uterus. If you want to put off having your next baby, many doctors now believe that the IUD or the pill are the best method women.